Mr. Speaker, Senator Tato uh, Mr. Speaker, Labour values the thousands of volunteers around this country that contribute thousands of hours to community organisations up and down this country, sir. And often those very organisations that these volunteers uh, work for, sir, are often the only organisations in many of these communities, often vulnerable communities, whether they're rurally based or urban based. But Labor acknowledges and values their role. Labor also values the hard work our police force does. And when we take government next year, we're going to ensure that our police force is adequately funded. So to this bill here, the Policing Cost Recovery Amendment Bill, I understand that the government has also committed to ensuring that volunteers, uh, that we reduce um, obstacles to volunteers um, contributing time to uh, community organisations. But this bill, sir, the Policing Recover Cost Recovery Amendment Bill, puts all that at risk. In fact, sir, when I read the bill, it has a, a kind of hide-and-seek feel about it, sir. The seek is that uh, this bill is intended to uh, recover costs around vetting services, but it hides the fact that it can also, perhaps, down the track when we pass this legislation, sir, is uh, re cost recovery for what they call other services. And I note uh, in the report to the Select Committee that uh, officials could not provide uh, any exhausted list to committee members on what those other uh, services uh, are likely to be, sir. So uh, my point around um, does this potentially open up uh, abuse to charging service for other services that police may feel that they have uh, inadequately uh, uh, been resourced by this government to cover? And that's a question that maybe um, the, the government people can get up and respond to. Um, the other feel I have with this bill, sir, is that, um, like I said, it feels incomplete um, and it's open to uh, not only uh, inventing new services to charge to recover costs for, but it clearly um, didn't, at initial reading, uh, talk about or uh, give a list of the criteria for those uh, exemptions. And I will come back to that because I know Mr Young did uh, explain um, cabinets. A decision on Monday, Sue. But I just want to acknowledge the submitters that came in front of the Select Committee. And can I just quickly, uh, PSA, uh, the Citizens Advice Bureau, uh, Plunkett, and of course uh, the National Council of Women's uh, New Zealand Women also uh, had issues with this bill, which they clearly articulated um, at the Select Committee around confusion, around unnecessarily disadvantaging certain communities uh, and organisations that they represent, sir. Um, but it is that uh, statement around cost recovery, sir, versus the potential of this bill um, enabling the police to actually generate income. That's what it can potentially become, sir. So, the uh, extensions to the powers, the statutory powers given to the police to not just limit it itself <coughs> to vetting services, which we would support, but actually opening the potential to, to look at generating income through other means, sir. And so I, I have a problem uh, with the lack of um, closing that potential question mark to ensure that if we are opening at, uh, the police up to charging other services, then we should actually define it. We shouldn't leave it so open, sir. Um, and so when we, um, uh, and I, I want to go quickly now to the comment that Mr Young mentioned around Cabinet agreeing to the waivers that he mentioned, sir, around registered charities and organisations facing severe hardship. And I guess my concern when he uh, shared that with the House was uh, that's the role, I thought, uh, Mr Speaker, of the Select Committee. That's where we debate fixing up legislation. And so I want to acknowledge that uh, the opposition members who suggested writing criteria, that the Cabinet have obviously taken that on board and, and passed it. But then, sir, it just begs the question of, well, if we can't sort out stronger legislation in select committee and that we leave that up to a uh, cabinet decision, then that questions the value I see in my, uh, from where I sit to the role of the select committee, sir. 
Um, Labour won't be supporting this bill. Kia ora.